everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Hope everyone is having a good day today. Kurosanji promotes Summer Jam live. Illyris Pen Color is Bool. What do they mean by this? As we know, they are promoting that tomorrow on July 6th, as of this writing, of course, tomorrow, they are going to be having a summer jam. July 6th, waiting room is open. You can watch the entire Nidhi Sanji EN summer jam uh, 3D live free of charge on YouTube. Group one is July 6th. Group two is July 6th at 1800. So all those are there. And of course, Vox's Thingamadoobs is going to be on that day too, the 3D live. So what they're talking about is this. They messed up here, but of course, this is just, they work so hard for their talents. Of course, they work super hard for their talents, so they're never going to make a mistake like this. This is actually Niji Antis. Yeah, it's, it's a lie. It's all here. It's all here. You can take a look at it from the actual source. They deleted the tweet and re-uploaded it with the correct spelling, which is what everyone does. Everyone does that. So that's what they had here. This is, the, you would have been able to see it if you were fast enough. That's their old one. And this is their new one with everything fixed. This is the guys. This is the girls. Of course, they had a... Uh, intern and do it originally and everyone else you know everyone can make mistakes but uh the moment you call out Nidhi Sanji's mistakes a lot of people are like a lot of the uh NDF are like oh my god it's a simple thing they're human blah blah, blah. yes but you're so easy to call out hollow live mistakes so I'm gonna call out any mistake that's out there hollow live or Nidhi Sanji and I'm gonna be even and you know hard on each and every one of them <laughs> spell check icon during creation would have helped settle these minor mistakes where's the quality control what are the pen lights for not like there's a place to swing it also bull is slang sometimes an insult directed at white people in indonesian Ooh, bule probably is the thingy uh but yeah that's what we have for today on this one right now we have ryoma who is made a tweet about nidhi sanji convention i don't know how to feel after reading this tweet but yeah whether he tried to keep optimistic or truly genuinely despised how poorly nidhi sanji made the booth on anime expo overall ryoma is doing well First, first convention experience. Here we go. So I hope everyone has a wonderful, fun, safe time at Anime Expo this weekend. It makes me so happy seeing photos from the Niji EN booth. Please keep sharing them. Dinoth is on the mural and I'm just so happy. Of course, he would be happy. Convention is so much fun and they generally changed my life. I got into anime as an older adult and I was really self-conscious about what my family and friends would think about my new interest. I was embarrassed about the ones who did know, but I wanted to keep hidden about those who didn't know already. But my first convention experience changed all of that. Couldn't resist the urge any longer, so I brought it, bought a ticket to my local event and drove there by myself. I was so nervous, but all that fell away immediately as I was walking through the space, saw people were pure enjoying the things they loved, no hesitations and no judgments toward each other. And it was people of all ages in groups by themselves. It made me realize that I didn't need to be ashamed or apologetic for liking the things that I liked. And that was the other people in my life would think didn't matter at all. I was there to enjoy the things that I liked, just like everyone else. Conventions really shifted my attitude in life, and I'm able to be a lot more straightforward with my passions and interests. I enjoy things to the fullest, and life is so much more fun now. Get out there, <clears throat> indulge in things you love, and don't let what anybody else thinks stop you from enjoying your time to the fullest. Now, everyone knows I have my qualms with Nidhi Sanji. This is, I'll take this as a fan of Expos, a fan of the, the you know, anime culture and VTuber culture, just going and enjoying themselves and doing something positive, saying something positive. I am not going to shit on someone's parade. I'm not going to S on someone's parade just because they're saying something positive. I'm not going to be that type of individual because I am not that type of indiv individual overall. Even B, dude is just doing his job. Last sentence sums up his thoughts. It might be his way of saying to Niji fans not to be afraid of loving things you enjoy. Let's face it, some Niji fans might have been afraid to be judged by going to their booth. I don't particularly know if there was harassment, but I doubt the VTuber community would resort to that in a physical event. Yeah, enjoy yourself. Whether you're a Niji Sanji enjoyer, as I've said in my community, Niji Sanji enjoyers are welcome as long as you have an objective mind and you are able to stay objective, you're welcome in my community. I don't care who your Oshi is. I'm not going to hate you for your Oshi. You can love who you want to love. You can enjoy who you want to enjoy in your own personal time. As long as you keep an open mind and an objective mind, you're very welcome in this community. The numbers, Mason, they make my head tingle. There we go. We're going with uh, Nidhi Sanji EN Super Chats from Nidhi Statistics. Uh, earnings from 20, June 2024. Iluna is, uh, you know, Etheria Anna, Scarla, Iluna. Actually, June, doing pretty good. 16K, that's not bad at all. Lux Luxium, 12K for Ike. Noctix, Albin, 10K. Iluna, 9K, XLA, Luxium, Iluna. Those are all the ones that look to be at the top. The Noth is still doing all right. 
I mean, considering. Uh, for Twisty and Ryoma, still having 2k for their first month is not bad. It's nothing to shake a stick at. Like, Illyra had that much for their month, and Luxium, Luca, had as much for their month. The two people who are in trouble had as much for that month, and they're supposed to be a little bit more of the favorites. But still, I still find it bad that they, being the intro group, being a group that's barely started to have such poor numbers, I'm pretty sure Justice had better numbers than that. I'm pretty sure they did. So that is the big issue there. That's the issue that I find. Poor Petra's getting basically nothing at this point. Also look at effing funny how we're pretty much halfway through 2024 and Pom was still in the GN's second highest earning talent despite literally graduating one month into the year. Petra only had a single stream on her channel in June, which partially explains the lower super chat earnings. Makes sense. Because yeah, Petra is way down here with 59 bucks. So yeah, it's um having uh of the just the, the females and things like that, having uh Pomo still being among the top uh, right after Scarla because of when she graduated, she got a lot of money. So that makes sense on that end. Uh, small suggestion, but could you make the gens have the same color? Also, some of the color combos really hard to read, black and purple. But yeah, holy S, Scarla is killing it. Yeah, that's one thing that would remember would reckon would be more recognizable. OP isn't the OG poster, but yeah, Scarla is actually making good money, unlike the majority. And congratulations for Scarlet, because Scarlet is actually not involved in any drama. So I'm really happy that this is happening for her. I'm really glad that she's having a good time. I had shown before during regular business hours, during regular hours, which is around until 5 p.m., uh, 4 or 5 p.m. for the regular days at Anime Expo when I've been there, uh, unless they have like really late type stuff. Most of the stuff after 5 p.m. is considered after hours. There are some more 18 plus things that happen. Like, you know, um, hentai watch-alongs, which is really strange. And other things like that that happen on the uh, Anime Expo area. But here we have uh, things on the anime floor. Here's the, of course, taking a look at everything. Hey, taking a look at what happens to Hololife. People just chilling out at the Hololife thing. Looking at Holo Graffiti in the background. Hologra. And just a place. Usually people use these places to, like, just um, congregate. Just meet up. Just kind of have, you know, a place to chill. And, yeah, these things are happening here. Uh, people are... Of course, recording when it's less less loud, and they can actually do their whole media thing. They're doing all that kind of stuff, which is nothing nothing wrong with that. Booth two four three four genre horror. You're suddenly trapped in a silent, empty space. Find library statues to get out. Their booth is a liminal space. It's a back doors. It's the back doors. The back rooms. I mean, the back rooms. It's the back rooms. God damn it! I ruined it. After looking and studying the situation, booth is a hallway with withdrawing without saying it was based on the empty booth section. Think needy staff was probably setting up, then got told since the concert was canceled to pack it up. Yeah, it could be. Could be that since the concert was canceled, they, they made it a lot simpler uh, because they were having a lot of maybe concert merch, maybe a lot of concert uh, advertisements, and they probably were told to, pa to pack some things up. Still can't believe there's no effort, not even minimal effort. The absence of the promotion for the Niji JP ones is noticeable. It really is. And this is what is wrong with Niji Sanji, that they, even if you had this moment where you have, you know, things that aren't, aren't going so well, things that aren't going exactly as you planned it, you still do your best to make it look really nice for the people who are taking their time to show up and be there at your, your booth. This is a huge problem for Fillion. They are, in essence, stealing art for uh, commercial reasons. I don't think it is malicious, but they are doing it out of ignorance. Like, I do not uh, attribute mallet to malice what can be adequately explained by ignorance. I don't think she has an idea of the legal ramifications of doing this. Like I said, Fillion does not strike me as someone who's doing this intentionally. Just as someone who's like, oh, I'm using this. And then it just doesn't cross their mind that they have to get commercial permission for these things. You actually have to go to the artist, usually, and go... And be like, okay, I want to use this for commercial reasons. Uh, is there some kind of agreement we can come to? Because I want to use it for commercial stuff like merch and things like that. And what is popping up is that Good Smile Company is now doing an Nendoroid for Fillion. Because of course she's popular enough to do an Nendoroid. But the problem is, Jingo, the creator of the original creator of the modern model that Fillion model is a recolor of, states that they had no idea their design was being used commercially for Fillion's Nendoroid. And here we have their actual thing here. Here's a translated post that I'm going to read to you. Hello, I'm Jingo. This morning, we received many inquiries regarding the announcement made on Good Smile Company's account about the production of a Nendoroid figurine uh, of the VTuber Rindo, which is, you know, uh, basically Fillion. I was currently traveling when I contacted you, so it was some time for me to find out the situation. Regarding the production of the VTuber Nendoroid figurine based, based on Rindo, which is the, uh, what, the recolor that Fillion did. I'm going to show you Rindo in a little bit. 
uh, I was unable to receive any prior contact from Good Smile Company or the VTuber regarding production-related matters. From my perspective, I was very confused by the fact that a company was planning to produce a figurine based on my character and that I had never heard anything about this. We have currently contacted Good Smile Company and the VTuber in question and are waiting for a response. This is not an individual issue, so it's going to take some time for everything to come together. Please be aware of this and be patient while we wait for the results. And this is in Korean here. I'm so sorry this happened to you. Oh, geez. Hopefully everything can be sorted out. I hope so, too. Because, like I said, I will not attribute to malice, but can easily be attributed to ignorance on Philian's part. Good Smile Company should have done some double checking. They are an organization, but I'm pretty sure a lot of trust was put on Philian to make sure that they were able to correctly, uh, you know, make it, you know, uh, purchasable and, you know, make it commercially viable. Uh oh, it looked up the license for the model. It says based on VN3 license specifies further with this document in English version. It's basically according to the document, one is free to do a lot of stuff, streaming video content. However, merchandise, tangible goods is one of the things specifically stated to require contact in the creator. Most creators have that in their terms of service. What was the license in use? Has Fillion acquired the model or has the licensing changed since then? Check in the booth page. It appears the license was changed to VN3 back in February 2023, but Fillion has been using the model since 2021, presumably attained it under different license condition. For what it's worth, the archive November 2021 booth page doesn't mention licensing conditions at that time. So I'll admit, I've been wondering for a while if Fillion hasn't had an original model commissioned. I wonder why, like she could have easily had one that maybe made a couple different changes that, um, you know, would have made it commercially viable for her. According to this person, she's been aware of the issue for a while too. People have pointed out that her model being used for other stuff and she acknowledges that she's using a pre-made model that can be licensed freely by other users. Uh, at this point, the model was very well known to be her in the West and she's big enough. The best solution what might have been coming to a settlement agreement that includes purchasing full commercial rights to the model. That is what a responsible person would have done. But again, like I said, no malice here. But here we go. The more explanation on how everything is going. Guts Ma announced that they're going to be doing an Android. This is the recolor of Rindo, which is Fillion's model. But this is the original that Fillion used. It's a free-to-use model that she recolored herself. Everything there is Rindo. She has not changed anything from what it looks like. Even she still has a sailor uniform and everything. So this is very bad on her part. It looks very bad on her, whether it was done with Malice or not. A model everyone can buy and use at the artist booth, but it's directly from the model's terms of use. And here it says she needed to contact the licensor to make merchandise. We went over this. Uh, you can read the terms of service here and find links. And of course, I went over what the, uh, the person said, the actual person who created this said. And of course, down here, uh, in, a, in a video game, she's been in a video game. She's had standees done of her. She's had things done uh, from waifu cups. All these things out there. She's had other things pop out. She's been uh, commercializing it for a long time. I don't know. Like I said, maybe she was on another contract. But this does not look good for Fillion. She needs to fix this. Even if she was under another contract, the contract now states something different. Which means that it's going to look very bad PR-wise. At the very least, to fix PR, she should change things. She should make it so that she buys, purchases the rights, maybe compensates the person who made it originally more than she already has. You know, that type of thing to make things smooth things over. Because this is not going to be good from a PR stand standpoint, this one. This is a bit of a short one, but it's one that is very important in my mind. Do not ever go and do this to any library, whether you like them, hate them, whatever. Do not go and do this. This is harassment. This can ruin their moment. This can ruin the moment of people who are there to enjoy them. I don't like Niji Sanji. You know this already. But the livers are not to blame for what the management is doing. The management is dog water. It is holy, holy crap, it's horrible. It's really horrible. But the livers themselves are not at fault for that. They're doing what they can to make their content just like I am. I treat them as regular VTubers unless they make mistakes like what Luca and Illyra has done. But do not go into a liver a stream and say this. I hope you find your own home that isn't a sinking ship. Do not do this. This is the kind of stuff that gets you banned. This is the kind of stuff that will not get you any kind of like, yay, he did it. Unless it's like the people who are really, really bad in the community. Someone asked in a post a couple days ago why we won't don't be vocal about the boycott in chat. This is why. Just comes off as a harassment of talent causing harm to the boycott. And it tends to invoke the opposite reaction if noticed. It also doesn't achieve anything, literally. Yeah, this is harassment. <clears throat> YouTube has become Twitter full of drama horse. Uh, those people spamming that in streams don't really want the best for them. I'm not saying Niji is good. They're better off 
you know, without all the kind of stuff that's going on. But some people just want to have, uh, want them leaving because it'll look bad for the company. They don't actually want the best for them. They just want Nidhi Sandy to look bad. That is not me. I want the best for them. Do not ever do this again. Please don't do this to anybody. Now we go a little bit into the memes of uh, the, of course, again, we're talking about the Nidhi Sanji, the ball pit, which from Dashcon, if I remember correctly, it was Dashcon. I made a mistake last time of calling it like a, a furry convention, but no, it was Dashcon. Uh, there's so much more going at the Nidhi Sanji booth, and they have Vegeta and uh, Goku fighting in the ball pit. That That is hilarious. I love that. That is actually very good. And, you know, you have, uh, you can camp in that area. There's so much space. You can even camp in there if you wanted to. It's amazing. <laughs> now we're having Nidhi Sanji is living in hollow fans heads rent free of course this is cope from this person here anyone wants to read more but can lose their brain cells with this it's basically this this person here doing some cope things talking about I'm sorry crony he's a new guy he used to work on Nidhi Sanji we already told him that it's not how things work here it won't happen again people are just messing around people want to s on Nidhi Sanji because they want to s on Nidhi Sanji of course this is not crony themselves they're so they're not sending stuff to crony themselves this is a clipper remember this is hollow simp which is a clipper uh, i mean these people get blamed need liver for one of their talents breaking nda and getting terminated this is on brand the likes though it's just very small minority saw another comment saying sony need you conspiracy against hollow not giving them perms yeah i don't think it's a conspiracy this person octopus food is the one that's doing all this stuff in this clip, Laplace talking about her income with Matsuri. Hollow fans spreading lies in Niji living in their heads right free. Let's see if this what they actually spread were lies. No secret the streamers who have constant CC, consistent CCVs and dedicated fans who buy their merch and send them supers are quite well off. But for every 10 streamers who are doing well, there are tens of thousands who are not making enough to get by. Glad that Hollow Life takes care of their talents, provides a distribution of income, unlike a certain 2% agency. It's not a lie. It's not a lie. Remember, this 2% thing is not a lie. It is something that Mr. himself verified when he was Mr. Rias. He verified that, yes, they only get 2% for regular merch. He even, he even said, buy our voice packs instead. We get more money there. So that's not a lie. Out of curiosity, what 2% agency was that? It was a certain Rainbow Company. It's very true. It has been verified from ad revenue memberships and Super Chats. This is, this is not true. This part is not true. They do 50% of of uh, super chats ad revenue i'm pretty sure they get all of it but any kind of monetary stuff that happens after the the uh the merch it's 50 percent. so that's one thing that i do have to correct it's not two percent for everything it's two percent for uh, uh, merch and then 50 percent for uh, after youtube's cut they get 50 percent after the youtube cut for to the livers and they get 50 percent for themselves so that's just making sure that the truth is out there you know seems like some false flagging we're even hollow memes in their work discord account dissing Nidhi Sanji completely unprompted when Nidhi livers do such things how horrible uh the irony twitter uh chud only cries about hollow 24 7 rent free eh so yeah there's some things that were that were misunderstood misinformation a little bit so i corrected that other things which are very true because merch the two percent merch thing was verified by mr rias a bit of doki news as i always like to add some doki news here because doki is doing a lot of winning and we're always happy with them doing a lot of winning over here on the channel you should go wish doki a happy birthday it was yesterday by the way that happy birthday was yesterday because it's 17 hours ago it was yesterday july 4th if i'm not mistaken that was her birthday so happy belated birthday happy late birthday to doki bird there was a lot going on yesterday so i didn't i wasn't able to say it but happy late birthday to doki bird and um I read this in LTG's voice. Uh, Doki always says S like this and crack me up every time. What she's saying is time waiting. The waiting room is here. I can't believe an entire country is celebrating my birthday. Let's make some new goals to achieve together for next year. And of course, she's talking about the 4th of July. How everybody in the US is celebrating it. Fireworks were last night for Doki's birthday. Everybody was celebrating. There was freaking World War III with fireworks yesterday. Everyone was super happy that Doki Bird had her birthday. And they were all celebrating it, of course. Here we go for our next VTuber showcase. In this case, uh, in Salvi's VTuber corner, we have X1 Daring VTuber Idol. Here is their Twitter and at X1 Daring on YouTube. They are a, she is a full-time VTuber, not any kind of loot stuff going on. They just want to play video games, sing karaoke and have much more. Variety VTuber and it goes on chaotic yet awesome adventure shenanigans, which is always fun to see. It's great seeing that. I'm so glad that I can actually help people out in this way. They only do YouTube. Twitch has too many unfair rules, which of course, you know, it's really, Twitch is really going against VTubers. I won't go into my diatribe here, but yes, I can understand them not doing that. They bet, uh, 
they banned the favorite game Second Life, so you they can't they couldn't play their favorite game even if they wanted to there. Uh, they do video games, art, music, dancing, singing, and so much variety. Oh my lordy, they do a lot of variety, which is always good. Doesn't have a schedule. Not everyone needs a schedule. I don't have a schedule. I just do, you know, every, try to do every day uh, at least something going on. Uh, love that I can finally become an anime person without having truck you know, being isekai'd. That's one of the reasons why they like being a VTuber. They don't have to be isekai'd to become an anime. Uh, they are willing to have collabs with other VTubers, other content creators, whoever it ends up being, of course, uh, with the vibes working. If it works well and also... If they, they can do Saturdays and Sundays, then yes, of course, ask first, as always. And here is their social media, as you can tell. They want to create more outfits, more songs, more actions, and fully more awesome entertainment. So basically, they want to have a more uh, active VTuber model with a lot more redeems, I guess, a lot more things going on. They want to continue being happy in their VTubing career. Um, their experience that they're mentioning here, just mentioning that it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, you can have to worry about, you know, parasocialism and that kind of thing. You can get trolls. You can get haters. They can get annoying to deal with. But once you figure out, you know, make that thicker skin and you figure out the block button is a thing, then you can just let them do their own thing and move aside, of course, which is great. And like I said, very happy to do a showcase on X1 Daring VTuber. They've been a follower of the channel for a bit. Want to give something back to people and the VTuber community in all. Thank you once again for being part of this VTuber showcase, Salvi's VTuber Corner, and I hope to see you guys next time and to see you guys with more, show you guys more of this kind of stuff. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys, and I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now, because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.